Hello, I'm Simon. Last time I showed you a lot of very interesting traditional Chinese clothes when we were at Hukou waterfall. Now I'm going to show you much more very interesting traditional Chinese clothes. Now let's go! Now we are at the legendary Chinese Emperor Yao temple. Many things were invited at that time like lures and the solar calendar. That is why Emperor Yao is regarded as a key figure in earlier Chinese civilization. There are 24 solar terms along the both sides of the road. Ancient Chinese people use them for farming during many years and successfully. For example, autumn equinox is coming soon. More than 4,000 years ago, Emperor Yao uh, discovered the law that the nights and days are equal in this day, so ancient Chinese farmers use the law for harvesting. So the ancient Chinese followed this rule to plant in spring and to harvest in autumn. Only then they could develop the agriculture and they started to live better. As soon as you enter Yao Temple, you can see E Gate in front of you. That is why China is called Land of Etiquette. When people came to see Emperor Yao in the past, they should tidy up their appearance, their clothes. I'm going to do it just now. This is going in hall. The guide says that Emperor Yao and his four ministers were worshipped here and they were called five phoenixes. At that time the four ministers were in charge of sacrifice, agriculture, astronomy and calendar and criminal law. This uh, Chinese idiom comes from here, Hua Di Wei Lao, which means drawing a circle on the ground to be punished in a prison. It is said that water is a source of life, so people live near the water sources and Emperor Yao dug the first well himself. Another Chinese idiom came from there, Beijing Li Xiang, which means leaving one's hometown. And of course, in addition to what I have seen, there's the first Chinese slender tree, which means that people can speak freely and respect each other equally. And there are four famous ancient Chinese trees in front of the hall, like this Bao Bao Huai. It is more than 700 years old and these two trees grow together helping each other to grow. It is said that the Chinese people are infrastructure maniacs. I'm afraid this gene is engraved in the hip bones because thousands of years ago China's architecture has been amazing to me today. Uh, this is a beautiful scenery of Yao Temple. There are many interesting small details which you should explore yourself. Next time let's take a look at amazing buildings in China. Bye-bye!